Hello, today we're going to review a plugin for WordPress called WPDB Backup. Um, it's, it's a plugin that's been around for a little while. If you look on the plugin directory, it says that it hasn't even been updated in over two years. So it may, no longer, it may no longer work. I can tell you as of the date of this recording, it's absolutely working and it's, it's a great way to uh, back up your WordPress database. It's useful, useful for two things. Number one, uh, doing frequent backups of your database, uh, just in case. And secondly, making a backup of your database that you can then restore uh, when doing a site move. I'm gonna go over a complete how-to uh, here in just a little bit. Uh, the plugin here is called WPDB Backup. Uh, you can see that it's got over a million downloads on WordPress plugins, and this is their site. Um, what can I say? It's a simple, simple program but it works extremely well when you install it. It gives you a, a backup a backup tab here under tools. You can see that you can exclude certain things if you want. I don't know if you ever would uh, want to exclude anything. You can download things. You can email yourself a backup, which is really cool. Here's what I really like too, is the schedule backup function. So you can tell it to email you once a week or once a day or whatever, um, you know, a, a backup of your WordPress database. Now this is going to back up the actual database, it's not going to back up your theme files, it's not going to back up your uploaded files or, or your plugins or anything that, like that. What it is going to back up is going to back up all your post data, all your page data, all your user data, um, all of the information that you've put in your uh, back-end setup screen, so like everything here in your settings, all that stuff's going to be backed up. So com combining this with an FTP download of your whole WP content file, it's going to give you pretty much everything that you need to restore uh, your database. So I'm going to go ahead and show you guys now how to do a site move with this plugin. You'll see how easy it is to use uh, while it's working. Um, so this is the site that we're going to move. Um, as you can see, I have a couple different posts in here. First of all, we're going to log into the site, which I'm already logged into. You should hopefully know how to log into your site. Um, we're going to do two things to prep this site for moving. First of all, we're going to install a new plugin. So go to plugins and then uh, install plugins and then add new plugin. We're going to look for a plugin called WP-DB for database-backup. Alright, we're going to click install now to install this plugin. This is going to make a backup of all of your entire WordPress database, which is super handy. I'm going to go ahead and activate the plugin. We're going to go down to Tools, and you'll see that there's a new tool called Backup. Go ahead and push that. You're going to see that it brings up a page that looks roughly like this. Uh, you can use this to automate your backups, which I haven't done, but it looks like it's all built in. All I'm going to do right now, though, is leave all of this stuff as it is and click nothing except for Backup Now. You'll see it gives us a little progress bar, and it'll take just a minute or two to complete. Okay, while that's going, we're going to do uh, the other the other task that we need to prep this site. We're going to connect to our uh, our current host through a, an FTP program. I'm using FileZilla. You can use something else if you like. Uh, FileZilla is for free on the internet. So what we're going to do is we're going to let's see. We're going to connect to it, browse to where your WordPress install is located on your current host, and we're going to, let's see, you can see this is this is my whole install right here, and you have three main files in your in your WordPress install. You have your admin, your content, and your includes. What we're going to do is we're going to right click on your wp-content folder, and we're just going to download the whole thing. It's going to take a minute or two, but this contains um, not only your theme, but also your plugins and also your um, your uploaded images. And your images are kind of important because when you upload your images, it puts it in all sorts of different folders. And if you don't copy the folders over exactly as they are, then when it gets to the new site, it's not going to know where to connect to those files. Um, so that's why we're doing this whole content folder. Okay, I'm just going to switch back over to our site. You'll see that our backup's complete, and it gave us a downloaded file. I'll go ahead and show this in folder. There you go, and you can see it. I'm just going to right-click and cut. And I'm going to go back to my FileZilla, and I'm just going to paste it. Oh, looks like I'm going to have to drag it. 
and FileZilla. So I'm going to drag it right to the folder that we're saving our WP content. And now as soon as FileZilla completes, we're going to be good to go. You can see there's quite a few files in your, in your WordPress install. So 2,500 left. Okay, now we have our files all backed up. We have our database dump right here. We have our site basically prepped and ready to go. Next thing that we're going to do is go into wherever your DNS is, which is you know, possibly where you've registered your domain. If you're like registered at GoDaddy, um, it'll look different than this. Uh, but what we're going to do is we're going to redirect the IP address of your site. So in this situation, here's my site name. And here's the site that is currently pointing to. We're going to put in the IP address of the new host, which is that. And then just click Save. OK, the next step is wait. <laughs> when you change an IP address in your DNS, it always takes uh, a good bit of time. It could be 15 minutes. It could be uh, you know, an hour or two. I know that your registrar will generally tell you 24 to 48 hours. It never takes that long. Basically, you just need to wait for it, this change to propagate through the internet. So I'm going to go ahead and pause, and we'll be back here in probably about an hour or two when this is propagated, and I'll show you what to do next. OK, that DNS change is now propagated through the internet. I'm logged into my cPanel on my new host. I'm just going to install WordPress really quickly with my Softaculous installer. Choose the right domain. That's fine. Softaculous is a really nice way to install WordPress, by the way. Just take a second. Alright, so it says it's loaded. Alright, this is the new WordPress site that I'm going to install to. Next thing I'm going to do is open up my FileZilla again. Um, I'm already connected to my new host, so I'm just going to browse to the install files which are right here and you can see I have my admin content and includes uh, folders just like that so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go in here and I'm just going to go ahead and delete all three of those existing directories which are pretty much empty anyway I just delete them in case um, something I upload doesn't overwrite everything perfectly probably be just as safe just to leave all that stuff in there but Okay, and you see in the left hand side, I have uh, browsed to my folder where I save that WP con content stuff. So I'm just going to go ahead and start the upload of all this. And this is going to take a minute because there's 3,000 files. All right, all of our files have been uploaded. So here's what we do with to get the rest of the data in there. Now that all of the files are there, we're going to go back to our cPanel. We're going to go to uh, something called PHP My Admin. Um, so depending on your host, there may be different ways to get there. Um, this is how you do it through cPanel. So you click on PHP My Admin, and you're going to see two databases pull up here. Um, the one that has the unique name in this situation, Epic Rep, whatever. Is, uh, if you click on that, it's going to show you all of the tables within that uh, database. We're going to click on one called WP options and you can see it's got a whole bunch of different uh, whole bunch of different information so all we're going to do now to import all of the rest of the data so everything that was in your database is we're going to click import we're going to choose file okay so we go to the folder that had our SQL dump that we did with the WP DB backup program on our previous installation we're going to select that to upload, and all we do is we hit go. Now after this completes, it says that it imported all of this SQL information. You're going to want to click back on options and then browse. And when you go in here, um, you want to look for the URL. If the URL isn't the URL that you're putting this onto, so if, you, if you're changing URLs while moving this WordPress site, for example, um, then you'd want to click on this and update that here. Um, I'm moving it basically to the same URL just on a different server, so I'm going to leave that is. And I'm just going to go back to my blog, 
quick visit site and you can see that basically now it's in it's it's pulled in all of your posts and all of your pages it's pulled in all of your menus your users your passwords um, everything so everything should be as it was but now we've moved from the old host to the new host and that is how you move WordPress from one host to another using the WPDB backup plugin thanks for watching if you like this video go ahead and click like and then click the link below to sign up for our newsletter where we'll send guides reviews and how to's directly to you